How you doing, guys? Good, good. Hi, yeah. We're good. Very Wonderful. Well. In New York City. Uh, I'm sorry? We're in New York City. Oh, well, so, oh. So why wouldn't we be good? <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on this series. First of all, I thought it was fantastic. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Um, and this is obviously based on Steve Jones's autobiography. Craig, can you talk about just the process of bringing it to the screen? Sure, sure. Well, Gail, Gail Lyon, our American uh, producer, one of our American producers, uh, brought the book to me, and and I listened to the audio book. I was in LA and I was working on another um, project, and you know, as you know, in LA, you tend to be in a car driving a lot. So I listened to the audio book, and Steve Jones actually reads the audio book, and. I really, I fell in love with Steve through hearing his voice read his own story. There was a whole other layer of complexity and self-deprecating humor and vulnerability in Steve's voice, hearing him read his story that I absolutely fell in love with. And of course, you know, punk was very influential um, to me as a, as, as a kid in high school and later at drama school. I grew up in Australia in a beach suburb, Australian beach suburb. Uh, which is kind of antithetical, you would think, to what punk was. But okay. what punk stood for, for me, was authenticity and, 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 and realness. And I was very aware of how it changed culture. So, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what brought me to the story. Thomas, um, Malcolm, as a manager, seemed um, opportunistic at best. Um, he kind of just orchestrated the whole thing. It kind of reminded me of... Um, of you know a reality show producer putting together you know a, a band um can you talk about uh, the line uh between being ingenuous and being you know honest and um and how you portray the character yeah i didn't want him to come across as a baddie um i think he was just very you know he had this vision uh, uh, and he really i think he truly believed in it and um he truly set out to do something revolutionary and to um, do something that meant something um, and and do something truly artistic and unique and important um, and anything that, that kind of got in the way of that I think he just would brush aside and um, he was just kind of fixated on this goal um, and I, I, so I don't think he I, I don't believe that he was I don't really think he did anything with any malice I think he was a, a, a proper artist and, and a bit of a genius, really. Um, and from people that I met that, that knew him, most people say that, yeah, I mean, he, 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 was, he was bizarre, but he was kind of fantastic. And they, they always say that he made, that he made them laugh. He was a, he was a funny character. Um, and I think, he, I think he, he was troubled in his own right. And he wanted to just... He was always looking to do something that was a bit risky. Like his ideas shouldn't really work on paper, um, but he wasn't afraid to to take the risk and to try and see if they worked. And some of them didn't work at all. Um, but uh, well, the one that worked really well was forming the Sex Pistols, um, that completely changed music forever. Craig, your um, in, in the process of bringing it to the big screen, where? Um how much did you rely on Steve's book versus, um, you know, other information that was out there, fact versus fiction? You know, how much yeah. do you consider about storytelling versus factual information? Well, I mean, you always have to um, read all the material, do all the research, distill it, and then find the essential truth there. And then, in a sense, fictionalize it. I don't mean just make up ridiculous things, right. but you have to create drama out of it because documentary does what it does brilliantly and if you're just going to make a documentary just make a documentary so but I read very widely you know like Chrissy Hines uh, biography um, uh, you know there's a huge amount of material out there uh, we did a huge amount of research and the research was 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 ongoing even as we were shooting uh, speaking to people who are, you know, like, like Vivian's um, children, for instance, um, Joe and Ben. Um, and, but then you have to kind of put it all into this sort of, I guess, pressure cooker and create drama out of it. Because as we all know, you know, life doesn't happen in a three-act structure. And, but I think the, the challenge is to not dumb it down or trivialise it by making it into drama. That's... that's the big challenge for me uh you know and I, I hope i hope you achieve that you know that's up for the audience to judge um but you do bear a great responsibility 
as a writer when you're basing something on on people's lives. Right. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations again on the series, and it's good luck. Pleasure. Thank you thank so you. much. Thanks a lot. Take care.